Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to get an Infinity QX60 key replacement in case you lost all your keys or you just want to have a spare set. In addition, I will go over the estimated cost, type of keys, coding information and some great tips to save you a lot of time and money. Before we start, uh, just to help other people and to make sure uh, we all pay a fair price, I would really appreciate if you can comment below how much you paid and the year make and model of your car. Thanks a lot. So, Infinity QX60 has two types of keys. Both of them are key fobs or push to start keys. You get into the vehicle, you push the start button and the car is on. For 2019, 20 and 21, as of today of course, we have a key fob with part number K like King, R like Robert, 5 T like Tom, X and like Nancy 7, which needs to be coded on site with a spatial machine. Between 2014 and 2018, we have a key fob with part number K like King, R like Robert, 5 S like Sam, 1801440114, which needs to be coded on site as well. Of course, if you need any help, you can contact us 24-7 uh, and we will connect you with a locksmith near you. Now it's time for tip number one. There are many different key fobs and transponder keys that look exactly the same. However, they have a different chip value inside them. And if you get the wrong key, you get the wrong chip. Wrong chip, and you will not be able to start the vehicle. So always remember to provide the locksmith or dealer either the exact year make and model of your car, or the VIN number, and the type of key you add. For example, 2021 Infinity QX60 push to start or key fob. Now uh, let's go over Infinity QX60 key replacement cost. You have three options to get a key replacement and the price varies depending on where you get the new key. First, get a key online and then have a locksmith or dealer cut and program it for you. Second, Call an automotive locksmith who can come and make you a key and code it on site. And third, tow the car to the dealer. Online, you can get it for about $80, and including cutting and coding the key fob, you should pay total about $320. A locksmith should charge you about $350 for on site service at your location, and a dealer about $400. The following is very important to remember. While some keys can be coded without a spatial machine, it is not the case here. Therefore, if you decide to buy a key online, you will have to contact either the locksmith or dealer to do it for you. You cannot do it yourself. Before we continue, a quick word about a spare set. Making an additional key when you already have a working key is much cheaper and faster. Therefore, we highly recommend getting two keys in case you lose all your keys, as the second key should cost less than half. Now, some tips to save you a lot of time and money. First, call a few locksmiths, get a few quotes. This is very important, as some locksmiths are very busy on a given day, and some aren't. Use it for your advantage. Second, try to call a few companies, even if they are not located right next to your location. Most locksmiths offer a mobile service, sometimes up to 30 mile radius. So even though the business address might be far from you, they might be helping the customer right next to you. Do your research, it will pay off. Third, try to schedule an appointment, if you can wait a while. Most locksmiths would prefer to give you a 10, even 15% discount if you can wait while they finish another job. This way, it can work out for everybody. You get a discount, they get a job. Ask for it. Don't be shy. Finally, just like a mortgage, try to negotiate. If you find a better quote, tell them. Who knows, maybe they will give you a better one. For more great tips, you can read our blog post about car key replacement costs.